Look smarter than you are with S-Base Calc Scripts. I'm Toby, and today we're going over the isLev function. The isLev function is being used when you want to determine if the member you are calculating is at a specific level. Let's take a look at the isLev function syntax. isLev returns true if the member being calculated is at the level listed. So in our syntax, we have isLev, open parentheses, dim name, comma, and either lev number or lev name, followed by close parentheses. Dim name is the dimension we want to check for the level. Lev number is the level number we want to find. And remember, it must be a non-negative integer, meaning it can be zero and up. Lev name can be used instead of lev number as long as that level has been assigned a name in the space outline. Now remember, isLev is a Boolean function, so it returns 1 for true or 0 for false. And like most Boolean functions, it's normally used in an if statement, but it doesn't have to be. Let's take a look at an isLevel function using level number. In this example, we would like for sales to return 123 if the member is from the level 0 of the market dimension. Otherwise, for all other levels of the market dimension, we want sales to return 500. Now let's take a look at an isLevel function using level name. In our outline, we've named level 0 as states. So in this syntax, you see that we're looking in the market dimension under the states. And if the member is from that level, we want sales to return 123. For all the other members, we don't want to do anything. 